Jared Bishore is coming home. The Lamar native won state championships with the football Tigers, and now he's Lamar's new head football coach. It's kind of crazy to think of right now. I don't think I've gotten used to that. Um, I'm going to have to get to used to that. Uh, I'm used to Coach B. Shore. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird, but uh, I think I can get used to it for sure. After winning three straight state championships at Lamar, B. Shore played his college ball at Missouri State. He was a two-time captain, and that experience helped him in his coaching career. I was lucky enough to be voted a captain twice, and that definitely has made me who I am today. Would I be applying for head coaching jobs if I wasn't a team captain for Missouri State a couple years? Probably not. After graduating from Missouri State, B. Shore cut his teeth as an assistant coach for Anthony Hayes in Branson. Coach Hayes, he kind of really took me underneath his wing, and he, and he knew I wanted to be a head coach one day. Everything he did, he, he, he did it with purpose, and he kind of showed me the ropes there on, on why he was doing things and uh, showing the kind of the behind-the-scenes stuff. This winter, Scott Bailey resigned at Lamar after 14 seasons. Bailey had led the Tigers to seven straight state championships. Jared Bishore was one of his star players. Now he'll replace his mentor. I think it was surprising just for everyone. I mean, everyone wasn't expecting him to step down, uh, you know, and, and, you know, and he has his reasons for that. I, I, I have no clue what they are, but he, you know, he, he's meant so much to me um, and to many Lamar Tigers out there. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of that big mentor, father figure a little bit uh, to a lot of guys. And that relationship takes the pressure away from succeeding Bailey. No, I don't, I don't feel any pressure. I actually... With, when you talk about community and being familiar with it, I feel a sense of relief, really, um, with a lot of things because I'm so familiar with it. You know, I grew up in it. Uh, people know who I am. I know who people are. There's more pressure from this coronavirus pandemic that shut down school and prevents team meetings or practice. I'm itching to get out of the house to go uh, work with these kids. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I'm doing what I can. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, reach communication with the kids. You know, I'm still, I'm still a Branson Pirate. It's the circumstance we find ourselves in. It's not the great, greatest time to step into your first year of head coaching, but uh, we're going to make it the best that we possibly can. So, so it, it, it is what it is.